Hi, it's Rachel and I'm back and I decided to, um, what I want to do, I've still got all my pink stuff here, but we might use some of it because it can mix in with these. These are my kit that I've set, did yesterday, which I, I'm, I'm just so thrilled with these. Um, inspired by an English garden, even though we have bits of Italian and French stuff in there as well. Um, but, oh, yum. So, yeah, I've got an idea. I'm going to do something like what I did on day 41 last year in the 100 day project. So those of you who are new, you might not have seen that video. Those of you who've been following me, you probably don't remember like I didn't remember because I just went in my big book that I haven't finished yet. Um, that I was, I'll was, i finish that and I will, we might have a quick look at that um, from last year. So we're going to make um, these envelope um, pockety things that were, if I remember correctly, inspired by Juker. So what I want to do is just collage the inside with um, book pages, old book pages, and I might even put some tea dyed and things like that in there. We'll just see. We'll just go with the flow. Oh, I still left my glue on. Lucky I decided to come back and, and um, do this because... Now, why is that tie there? Hmm because um, my glue would have dried and that would have been annoying. So I probably won't have much to say because I just did another video. Um, but I'll do my best. Okay. Got some old dictionary here. I want to make sure I get glue everywhere. up a bit of, of these old book pages that I've had forever. Oh, you're back at it, Lulu? Yeah. <laughs> she, had a, she had a big long break and now she's back at it. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's going to cover that. I might get, I might grab my big, I still, as, as I said, I just finished my other video. I had a break for a second because I had a bit of a backache um, and now I'm back at it. And I've still got all my mess there. Okay, let's see. This is very brittle paper. Very, very, very brittle. Just breaks in, in your hands. I can even take that off. I'll just stick, overlap another piece. Oh my goodness, it's sticking to me. Oh, hello. Off. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what else we have in here that we might use. Plenty of bits and pieces. Oh, and I didn't answer any of my comments. To... What was that, Lulu? Um, I didn't answer any of my comments today because I had my faux pas with the... Um, maybe I like that side. Um, with the PDF for this kit, actually. And so I spent the time that I had this morning when I got up, where I normally answer a few comments, do, you know, do a few of those things, get as much done as I can in an hour or whatever. Um, and it was taken up by resolving my boo-boo. Okay, that's that. We'll put this piece down here. It's perfect for there. Oh, and I think I said um, the project that I just did in my 100-day project for this year, I think I said it was day 55. It wasn't. I don't know what day it was. I just, I think I the last thing I looked at in my folder was day 55, but I don't think it was that. So who knows when I made it. I'm a very confused person. Did anybody notice? I get very confused. I have to rip that off because, oh well. And then I'll put another piece there because it's so brittle. It literally, 
um, I can't even use this piece here that's not all glued yet because it will fall apart in my hands. So probably not the best paper to use for this, what I'm going to be making. Okay, and let's grab um, something else. Let's see. Oh, this one. Put a piece of this one. I think I'll take that bit off. Yes, that's very nice. Looks like Greek to me. I think I've said this before and I think it is Greek. I think someone told me it's Greek. Okay, so that's that done. Now, we're going to trim off the edges. I'm going to do it properly today. I'm going to... Oh, God, I love those papers. I'm sorry. I just love them. That's why I didn't get a video done yesterday. I just couldn't stop myself. I had, I just, oh, I just loved making these papers. It was creative. I did do, it was creative doing that. Um, so I did do really, in reality, do my 100 day project, which is to create something. Um, it's just that I couldn't do it on camera. Okay. So I'm going to trim it. So inside is like that. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, I just grab my original one. And what did I do there? So I'm going to have two pockets. Two pockets I'm going to have. So all I need to do is grab these papers and hopefully oh yes that's the width so that's going to be one and I'm, I need to see my folds so it's going to be folded you see so you're just going to see book page and I'm actually going to so that's going to be the flap there so I'm strategically folding it there I need my bone folder okay Yes, put that there, and then this one will go there. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love that. Great, so that's that. So here, I'm going to put this here. Like so. I think that's going to be... I don't want it that deep. So, Or do I? Oh, maybe I do. It's not folded. Oh, there, it's not folded even properly. So let's do that properly. Oh, it's got... It's got all kinds... Look, it had a piece of acetate from a thing in there. Thank heavens I opened it. I didn't want that. In. Imagine, imagine a hundred years from now and you find that piece of acetate there. That would be interesting. I'm going to keep it double because I want it to be um, fairly strong. I'm looking for my glue. I've lost my glue now. Oh, there it is. I'll just glue that back down. Thank heavens I opened that. I didn't want to have a piece of acetate in there. And it was like thick acetate because it was the backing from a um, sticker. From one of those washi stickers. Okay, so that's going to go there. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to... I'm actually going to reinforce it with something across the top. So let's see what I've got here. Oh, I don't know if I can, I, I don't think I can tear any of them up. That's my problem. I'm going to, I feel like I want to hoard them and I don't need to hoard them because I can print them out again, but I'm such a goose that I feel like I need to hoard them. I'm going to use this piece here and I'd like to tear it this little border here. Oh, lovely breeze coming in. Just lovely. Oh, silly goose. Oh, I'm going to fold it over anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm worrying about that. Oh, 
Oh, listen to those kids. Well, at least they're outside making the noise and not upstairs. Thumping around. That's what they do. They thump around. I'm going to put that That's upside down. So I need to get rid of that little bit there. And I'm going to fold that down like so. I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to do right across. Just a little bit. I might have to shut my window and lose my breeze because here they come. At least the man's not on his right on mower. Cut there. And then she's going to start smoking just a minute. Aren't I awful? I've shut my, my window. Awful. Awful person I am, but you know. Okay. Well, I am going to put something there. So what will it be? Keep those, keep that, keep that. Can't keep everything, Rachel. I'm keeping all of those. Okay, well, I'm going to grab a scrap. I'm going to grab... Maybe I'll grab something that's already been in... It's already in a kit... So that way, um, you know, if you've already purchased it, you can use it. I think that would go very nicely, that one. Or do I want to contract? Or maybe I'll use a piece of that. Or maybe I'll use a piece of that. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I've got a nice piece there. Oh, I think I might use, I think I might go with that one or that one. So um, I'm just going to tear it. It's just to reinforce the old book page because it's going to be a pressure point because that is um, a pocket. I can hear a weird beeping sound. I don't know if that's Lulu or her dad. Okay. So I'll glue that. So if you did this, you don't even really need to stitch across it if you don't want to because it's all reinforced and nice and strong. So that's that. That's going to be my pocket. And that is going to go there. That's going to go there. Now here we can have a pocket going that way like there. So repeat the same. Or... We can have a pocket going that way. What do we prefer? What do we prefer? Maybe I'll do it that way. I'll do it that way. And what colours do we have here? We've got all colours. Maybe we'll get some... We'll get some, see what else we've got. Again, it's another lovely project that, you know, that you can use up scraps, things like that. Oh, goodness gracious. So you don't even really need to measure. It's just going to fold over. Oh, is that going to be long enough? Just. So just tear a tiny bit off there. It'll just go. And I'm going to glue that down. So I've actually decided I won't um, I won't stitch across the top because it's not necessary because it's 
been strengthened by the paper. Fold that over. And we've got our two pockets. Okay, so right, next job is to stitch around it and then we're going to make some other stuff. So I just bring my sewing machine over. Hopefully I don't run out of thread. So I'm going to have that one there. And that one there. So I'm going to clip those in place so they're not slip sliding everywhere. I've got clips here if I can grab them. So I didn't, of course I didn't put them away, did I? Right. And of course you could have, you don't have to have book page pockets. I'm just using up the book pages. Um, you could have like any one of these could be folded and, and made into a pocket on the inside would be pretty as well. Um, but I'm going to decorate these pockets, I think, a little bit, not too much. And I might, um, I've got my fold here. I'm going to put my pockets slightly up from there. Actually, I'm just going to also, um, where's my little trimmer? I'm going to also just trim this little piece off here. Oh, and I probably need to glue a little bit better as well. Look at that. It's all open. There you go. Um, I'm going to just trim it. A little bit better because that feels a bit gluey to me there we go and I don't want that bulk in my thing so let's clip that and we don't want it to go so you could glue these in or stitch I'm gonna stitch right so I'm gonna zigzag all the way around the outside so just bear with me This original idea came from Jika and I believe I did this in day 41 last year. Um, this was actually a different version of hers. Um, I'd also done one earlier that was similar to hers as well but I liked it so much I, made, I did another video with another version. take my zigzag off and I'm just going to straight stitch down that one. Okay, done. So there's my two pockets. Good. Let's have a look at what we're looking like. So that's like that, that folds over there, that's the outside, I love that. Okay, right, now I'm feeling hot because I had to close my window. Okay, so, I have these, oh, I love those birds. I put those birds, they're in some of the papers as well. Um, but because I'd cut around them and made them a PNG, um, I thought they're nice fussy cutting birds as well, um, even though they are in the papers, um, because then you can make things with them. So I think I might cut one of them out.
And you'll see me do more with these papers. I just have to sort of think about them and um, just absorb them a little bit. And then all the, the ideas start flowing and then you'll be sick of seeing me use them. Just get rid of this. Okay. So look, I get rid of the excess and then and then do the finer cutting afterwards because the excess just gets in the way. What's your dad watching, Lily? I think she's got headphones on. Do you have headphones on, Lulu? What? Do you have headphones on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why? Because I asked you a question. What did you ask me? I said, what's your dad watching? Uh, videos of people jumping off cliffs. Oh, videos. <laughs> He's watching videos of people jumping off cliffs. You know, what do you call them? Abseilers or skydivers? I don't know. Okay, can I get in there without ripping the legs off? Yes. Otherwise, we have to put it back together like a jigsaw puzzle. The legs come off. I did print this on 120 GSM paper, so it's slightly thicker paper. Now, let's see if they fit. Oh, just might have to snip his toenail off. You might have to have a clip. Oh, no, look, there we go. That's it. Oh, I'm going to put maybe on that pocket or that pocket. But we need a little bit of something under it. A little bit of collaging. A little bit. So. Well, I've got my collage paper here too. Why don't I use some of this? This one or... You can see I'm I'm in hoarding fashion. I want to hoard I want to hoard them. I do. I don't want to rip them up. It's a problem. It's causing me issues. I'll rip up this bit here. You know what I was thinking? Like, wouldn't they be nice if if like that got kind of vaguely fussy cut out? If you printed it on um sort of a heavier cardstock and fussy cut out and that was like a, a side tuck that would be really pretty there's an idea now, I might have ripped a little bit too much here put one there but I don't want quite that much so we'll have to tear it down a little bit further my birds on in there but I think I want them over there so I'll put that there decisions 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 be gentle down there on the leggies want the leggies to come off oops okay 
Oh, I love that. Great. I'm going to put something up there. And I'm thinking... Where's my other shit? I hear that. But that one, I had another one. Where has it gone? I had printed two of those. Two sheets. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one. Where have I put it? Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. I'm thinking I might like that up over there. I guess you could put the other birds there would be cute too. Right? Maybe I'll cut out the other birds. Do you mind? I'll cut out the other birds. Do you mind waiting? I think I will. I'll go as fast as I can. You would have had enough of me today by the end of this video. I'll be like, oh, let me have a holiday. Okay, I'll do the feet afterwards, the claws I should say, I shouldn't I, not feet. It was supposed to rain today, it's, it's like the sun is shining. And it wasn't meant to rain yesterday, and it rained on us. So how about that? Okay. A little bit to cut out here. there and cut that off oh I nearly cut his cut the leg off poor bird okay nearly there need to go in here Here comes a cloud. The light's changing. Hopefully you can see. I do have my other overhead ring light on. I got rid of that and I have one more little bit that I'm going to get rid of. This one. There we go. Nope. Okay. Good. I managed not to snip any legs off. So that's going to go there. And I'm going to put a little bit of something behind that too. I have this piece here. And I quite like that. Yes, and that sort of reflects that there. And yep, it's all happening. So we'll put that there. We won't faff about. Okay. 
and I'm just going to fold this over. Again, and these are sorts of the sorts of things that are good standalone things too, like that you could. Um, I'm just going to wiggle them around until they fit. Um, that you could um, sort of send in happy mail, like fill up the stuff and send it in happy mail. I need to snip off that little claw there because otherwise it'll get in the fold and I won't like that. It won't stick down. Um, yeah, you could fill it and send it with happy mail or um, you could also uh, like stitch it into your journal and then it will close like that as well. It could have a tie and tie shut or like a magnet or eyelets or whatever you like could just clip it into a journal now here I wanted to do something I thought um, let's see what's happening here I won't use those birds we like that could be nice glued down there let's just rip that out and see if we like that Otherwise, I was thinking just a portion of one of the papers. Kind of just sort of floating there, isn't it? So maybe not. Okay, well, then just I'm going to rip. I've got some here that I printed on regular paper somewhere. Or I've also got this one that I've just sent out to, to my mailing list. I could put that one there. And in fact, the colours are perfect. Now this one here, I printed it accidentally dry, and then I've got a printout of it better. So I'm actually going to end up covering a lot of the the um, book page, but not all of it. Yeah, that's going to be good. And I'll tear the top and bottom off. Oh, isn't that lovely? Nice tag. That would be a nice tag. So that, by the time I've uploaded this video, actually, that 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 sheet and that sheet will have gone gone out to who to those who are signed up on my mailing list as a freebie. And I also included the links to the other um, freebies if you miss them. Um, and I'll put the link to my mailing list um, in the description box if you want to go and sign up. Do remember to when you sign up you should get an email to asking you to confirm um yeah asking you to confirm uh your email address i think it is so um make sure you do that otherwise you won't receive anything and and they don't they don't back send so the mailing when if you sign up now and the mail the the mailing the newsletter has already gone out it's you're not going to get it because it's already gone out um, but the next time I send out a freebie and I try I don't get to do them my goal was to get them done every month but I don't get them done every month because sometimes things happen and I just don't get it done 
but I send them out as often as I can. Um, and so what I've done is I included the link to the to the file where they are. So those who signed up afterwards will get your when you get the next email, next newsletter, you'll you'll get the link to be able to go and get what you missed. Okay. I don't know if I that was confusing or not. <laughs> Probably. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what would be really nice there is a ruffle. A ruffle would be nice. And I had a ruffle here that was left over. I had one, and now oh, there it is. I think I'd just like a this off-white ruffle. I do. Yeah, I want because I, I love all the colours in the papers. I don't want to go too busy. So let's um, just snip off some of this. It's a good idea to have some of this made up and I've pretty much run out. This is the last of it. So I think I'm going to um, make some more and I'm just going to use some glue and glue it down. Okay, shall I just grab some of the glue for the end there? I didn't put any, it didn't go down far enough. Put that there. Isn't that pretty? I like that. That suits me just fine. So that's going to be like that. And I was just wondering if I wanted to put anything else in there. I'm being very precious about my papers. Oh, why am I being so precious? I don't want to cut them up. It's never happened to me before. I'm normally just cutting. And the silly thing is I can just print it out again. I mean, honestly, I'm going to cut these butterflies. This would be a nice, nice journaling card too. Just cut those out. That. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have a butterfly there. And I'm thinking I might like this one. It's only little. And so also sometimes some people have said to me, but I signed up and I never received anything. I think that you've gone onto my blog and you've signed up to follow the blog so you get notifications if I've put done a new blog post and I hardly ever do the blog anymore. Um, and so that's what's happened. You, you need to sign up on the on the newsletter one. It's on the sidebar on the blog, but I know there's one automatically on the blog also to follow the blog, and I think that's what's happened. Some people have signed up for that. Yep, that just finishes it off for me. Um, so anyway, I'll put the link below. If you've never received anything, si try again and sign up from the link in the description box. And when the next mailing list my newsletter goes out um i will say it again in a video and and then if you don't receive anything after i've said that i've sent something out in the next video in the video next time i say it then um i don't know because it's not me like you have to use the and i also provide the um sign up um address in a little um, image at the in my listings most of my listings have it sometimes I've forgotten to do it but most of them have it and you just type it in it's not hard to type in it's not really complicated or anything just write it down and type it in um, to your browser and then you can sign up from there as well it's just the same link as what I would be providing here there we go put a butterfly there and we're done with that I'm going to cover up that little bird there. It's competing with my other birds. Oh, I love that. So we've got that. Oh, I would be so happy to receive something like that in the mail. I mean, you could put, what about, um, I won't do it now, but you could even put a acetate pocket there. So you could see the pretty flowers and have something in there as well. Really cool. I think I'm just going to fold it down a bit more with my bone folder because I'm procrastinating now. I'm in procrastinate, procrastination mode. <laughs> there we go. That's that. And now we can make something to go in the pockets. Let's do that. Why don't we? I mean, these are simple. We just make a little little journal card and put those in. Um, this one, all I would do with this one, 
that's so cute. I'm going to, uh, where have I got them? I've still got them out from my last video. I have, um, these are just my um, tea dyed papers, coffee dyed papers that have been, um, I just did two to a page. So I'm just going to glue those to the back. Make sure I get glue everywhere. And then, just make sure I don't get any white on there like I normally do. I'm going to cut around it, and I will stitch around it, but I won't do it now. I like these little things like this. That this so These are some super old um, book pages. I don't think they've got the year on, but they're from the um, 1700s. Early 1700s, this one, if I remember correctly. I've, I think I've still got the original um, first page um, of it. I mean, it didn't have any cover when I got it, so I, I put all the pages in book, book bundles. Oh, look what I've, see, I've done what I said I didn't want to do. I've got the white there. Well, I'm not going to cut it off. Um, I'm going to just collage something there. Let's see what I have. Besides a big mess. Just grab those, put those over there. Oh, we'll make that into something maybe. Put that over there. Excuse me while I organise myself at your expense. Okay, so. See, these papers are really, really like, you know, um, great for journal pages and covers and wouldn't they be wouldn't that be a beautiful cover? Look at that. Yum. Okay, there's an old book pages. Oh well I could why don't I grab that cover? I don't like that colour. I'm just mucking around now guys. Mucking around at your expense. I'll get my act together. Just just hold on I'll I'll get my will get my act together. It's a beautiful old book page there. I'm just going to glue a bit of this down, just like that. Okay, glue that down, trim off the excess. Okay, it's problem solved. Okay, I'm going to stitch around that so that's not a problem. And then that will just fold. It's a cute little journaling spot. That will fold like that. So that's the reverse side and that's the front side or that's the front side, whichever you like. We don't have to be conventional and have it open like that. We could be Japanese and have it open backwards. You know, I've got lots of sew Japanese sewing books and they open backwards. So you could have a nice little acetate pocket there and that could slip in there too. That's an idea, but we won't do it now. Won't do it now. Okay. And then this here could be made into a tag. I'm just going to grab some. Oh, I'm running out of book pages because I haven't been folding them. I could glue it to this. Let's glue it onto there. So glue it onto some old book page and have that peeking out the side. What you up to, Steffi? What are you up to? We'll go for a walk in a minute. Okay. I'm nearly done. Want we'll to see what I made with the beautiful papers? So Steph helped me a bit yesterday, didn't you, Steph? You helped me with the... Yeah. Because we had to cut around all of the flowers and everything, and, and I'd get myself into a bit of a kerfuffle when they were complex, and so Steph helped me do it. Oh, amazing. I love, I love it. You like beautiful. it? Yeah. Really nice. I'm having trouble cutting up the papers. Why? Because they're so pretty. I don't I want to mean, cut them. No. Silly? <laughs> I know, I'm silly. Because <laughs> I can print them out again. I don't know why I'm being such a goose. Yes. I love that. It's very nice. You like that? Yeah, pretty. Oh, very look, nice. how can you cut that up? 
Mm. You try. Let me see what happens. You can print it again. Oh, I know I can print it again. I'm just being silly. I know. Right now, this one we need to back it. What will I back it with? Mm -mm. I like this one too. I did this one this morning for everybody. Hmm. That would be pretty on the back. I wonder if you could write on there. Do you think you could write on there? Probably not. No, I won't do that. I'll just put some some tea dyed paper, some printed tea dyed paper. I think I'll put on there. Go out and get a breath breath of fresh air today. Go out for a walk. It's pretty late now, but um, still time to go for a walk. And I'll upload my videos while I'm out. I think I'll use this ruler. It's a very bodgy tag I've made here. Very bodgy. Done totally in the wrong order. It's very messy. I think I'm going to have to trim that. That's not... I don't like that. So that's the back. I'm not very happy with that bit. I'm going to have to snip that off. It's just going to annoy me. Good. No, it's all right. And then I'm going to cut it into a tag shape, I think. not too thick I will stitch around that and I'm just wondering do I want to put anything else I've now gotten doing two videos I've now gotten myself into the biggest mess you can imagine have a little bit of that there I'm shooting up there no there just to add a little splash of colour, why not? Another thing you could do with this is you could have a deeper pocket there like that that you tuck in the side and then you could have a pocket going that way too. That could also happen. So that'll go in there behind that one. So that's for that pocket. Cute, I like that. And then um, we can just make some sort of um, journaling card. Why don't we make a journal card out of that would be pretty. So well, I don't want to tear it with that. I might just glue that to here. I mean, am I just not the messiest crafter ever? <laughs> Honestly, I think I'll stick that there behind. Okay, and then I'll just cut that along there. Let me just see how crooked I am.
cute. So that's just going to get stitched around and tucked in there. And we've got it. Oh, well, hello. I didn't do the back. Let's do the back. I'll do the back with, um, oh, I've got this. This is just a, bo a bookend. I think I'm going to put that on there. I was thinking I was going to do a long video, uh, short video. Not short, but shorter. But I think I might have been here already for an hour. Time just, time flies. Okay, so that's the back of that one. That will be stitched and that will tuck in the pocket there. And then with this one, I'd just cut a nice tag out of that. You can fussy cut or cut a nice tag out of there, something out of that. Um, this one here, even if you were to cut out how pretty what pretty journaling cards and then you could maybe fussy cut out a bird or a butterfly and stick it on there tracy fox label would be nice there so that you sort of get the idea of how i would use them i that would be lovely even it's a nice size um this is in the freebie um that's a nice size you could make a little notebook out of it would be cute too and this uh, I can't remember. No, not that flower. There's not, I've got other flowers that I've actually got the actual pages and they're from 1647. So I have, still have to do something with those. Yeah. So anyway, that's my first project with this yummy new kit. Yum. I love it. So, um, and that, as I said, can be stitched into a journal. Obviously, you can adapt it to the size of the journal. Um, and then just some little tags and little writing spot there. And then, um, as I said, you could put an acetate pocket there and put these things in there and have something else. So you could actually load this thing up. You could stitch down the center there and have two tucks. So many different options with this. Um, and then there's that one there. And you, I mean, obviously I can make more and put more in there, but I think I better sign off for today. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoy the kit. And thank you to everybody um, who's, um, you know, purchased it and left lovely comments on on the video show when I showed it. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get my crafting video done with it yesterday. I really wanted to, but time, I just honestly sat there from when I woke up until I posted it, working on it, and then made my boo-boo. So that just tells you how much work there was in it. Anyway, I hope you like it, and I hope you enjoy working with it, and thank you to everybody who shows me the photographs um you know tags me in photographs of things that you've made with the kits they're a lot of fun to use and um i will see you tomorrow so thank you for watching bye